Hey ho, good morning guys, and this is Coding with Gautam, and guys, today I'm going to be walking to you through the PT project, your performance task for your APCSP exam. This is what I think, if you don't get a perfect score on this, you will not be able to get a 5 on your AP exam, so this is really important, so make sure to watch the whole video. So, the task has three components. First, a PDF of your program code, B, a video of your program running, and C, a personalized project reference. So what is the PPR? We'll be going into that at the end. But first, what is the project supposed to be? So this is supposed to be just an app, such as a game, a code.org test, or something else like we've done in class. So. First, you'll want to make sure that you use your time wisely and design the program with the task requirements in mind. So this is a good guide. You should be receiving this in class. If not, I'll link it. I'll link a Google Drive link in the description below. So check it out. So this guide is intended to be a companion resource provided by College Board. And also, this is basically using what you thought throughout the year. So functions, input, output, and UI design. So what is required of the project? First, each project should have an input and output. It should take an input such as user input, buttons, um, keypad, anything, and also it should output something based on the input. Second, it should use list. So it should be a list filled in by user input or information, then function. Your function needs to include at least one procedure, one or more parameters to accomplish the program's intended function. And that implements an algorithm such as sequencing, selection, or iteration. We've done this in class. So just to review, sequencing merely means that there are multiple lines of code that run in order. Selection means use an if statement and select which is run. And iteration means such as a for loop where it is where a process is iterated. So Use your comments to cite code, images, sounds that you or your partner did not create yourselves during this task. And yes, you could work with a partner, but I did mine solo. So, function requirement activity. So, first, let's see. If you have a function like this, does it meet the requirements? No, it's because there is no if loop. Does this meet the requirements? No, because there is no iteration. Does this meet the requirements? No, there's no selection. And then does this meet it? Yes, it does, because it has the parameter, it has iteration, it has selection, and it has sequencing. So it has everything. So now let's start thinking of an idea. So identify your function and list early. So this is crucial because you don't want to be able to switch off from an original idea because you don't have a lot of time for this project if you if you just use your time in class. So that's why I made sure you finalize and have a vision before you move forward because it's going to be too late to like switch up like two days before the project is due. Then minimal design mode, looks don't matter, complex visual design mode, colors, fonts, and spacing does not matter. It can be a most simple test app and you can still get a five on the AP exam. And then, so project one, this is just a sample. I want to build a tic-tac-toe game. The user creates an account. If they don't already have one, they take it to the game board. From there, they play against the computer where you can choose the level and you need to write code. So. You can narrow down the project. So a function, a function that keeps track of time or a function that changes the way the computer plays using difficult as, difficulty as a parameter. So what are other possibilities? A function to update high score, a function to change how computer places during the parameter of difficulty, a function that starts incrementing for each second the game to track time, and for a list, a list that stores the moves done by the player, a list of account names, and a list of passwords. And then you can do that for these apps too. Okay, so choosing your project idea. First, what is the clear purpose and what is the user? So on the AP exam, 
you they will first of all grade your project and second they'll ask you to dissect it they will give you pieces from the ppr so let's just go to the ppr real quick so what is the ppr so you submit you submit a piece of your algorithm such as a call of a function the list being initialized in process and then the function so you calling the function, the function being used. Two, what is the function? Three, the list being called and used. So then when you go back into the AP exam and when you're doing the free response, they will be you will have to refer to these and you should answer questions based on these. So that's why make sure that you do these yourselves. You can use AI, but you must say that this segment has been written by AI or this segment was altered or updated using AI. You can do that. But second, also make sure that you know what is happening because on the other side of the computer, if you cannot show that you know what your functions are doing, then you will not be able to get a five on the AP exam. But then let's go down. So my idea for my project was the snake game. So waste scenario down, it's basically simple in 2D and the list and function opportunities I will show. So first let's go boot up code.org. So yeah, this is my app. So what this is, it's basically a snake game. It sets a random color and then it takes the input and then it goes on. And it's a pretty simple game. And yeah, so First of all, at the top, I, sorry, I did take inspiration from another, from another programmer. I took inspiration from Mr. Kaiser's project at the top right here. And so, for example, you can take inspiration. This is not 100% done by me. I did take the idea and some mechanics from this code above, but you were, I was still awarded a five. This means that you can use other people's code but not just copy and paste it and call it your own you have to a attribute it b change something about it and just take the learning from it so and also it's two remember that you do have your banners and your comments all there explaining what the code does mines are pretty minimal but it still got the job done but also remember that in the function you plan on submitting you must have lots of comments in this you can see here that this is the function i submitted and there were a lot of comments explaining everything and also for the list i submitted i submitted s cells i used my s cells list and what i did for the list was i went to the i went to the move and then i showed how s cells was being used and altered so this function helped the snake move. It created a new head game over. If the head and body collide, then you set the background color of the new head to random color. You put the eyes. If the snake didn't eat food, you update the tail, get coordinates of the current tail. And it's just basically just more simple game mechanics, right? So you submit this to your AP and next then on the day of the test, they will show you this function and ask you questions. One question I recall getting on the overall functionality was who is this intended for? Like what is the intention of your app? Who is the target audience? How is the app simple? And how does your app engage the target audience? And then it just dives in specifically like what was the point of this function? How does this code contribute to the overall functionality of the game, etc, etc. So yeah, this is pretty simple. That's your performance task. So. This is a simple guide. If you do need help, please hit me up in the comments. I'll be glad to help you. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is Coding with Gotham and good luck on your APCSP test.